Hey there, this is John Alexo from ProSite Tutorials where I talk about internet marketing secrets. And in this video, I'm going to show to you how you can integrate a pop up uh, contact form for your WordPress website. And for this, we are going to install two free plugins. The first one is called Contact Form 7. And this is a very popular plugin which you can install and basically allows you to create a contact form with any kind of options that you want. The second plugin is called Pop Up. Maker and this is the plugin which will allow you to create a window that will pop up in your website. So for you to install this plugins you must go to your WordPress dashboard. Once you are here you go to the plugin section and you click on add new. And over here I'm going to search first for contact form 7. I already have over here the name. I'm going to just install it so I can start using it and press activate plugin. Now let's install the second plugin which is pop-up maker. Pop-up maker. Which is this one. And if you want you can read more details so you can get more information about this plugin. As you can see it already has uh, a lot of installations and also a fantastic rating of five stars so I'm just going to install now press activate plugin this these are the two plugins that you need to work with so you can create the contact form pop-up on your website so the first uh, options which we are going to configure is the ones belonging to contact form 7 you can see that once you install these plugins now you have uh, so, uh, new sections appearing on your sidebar. You have this one which is the contact which belongs to contact from 7 plugin and the one that belongs to pop-up pop maker. So let's go to contact and I'm just going to select this option and this is the the window that you see and once you install this plugin you already come with um, you already come with the contact form created which comes with the standard options but you may want to actually edit a bit so I'm just going to press this button this is edit okay in this video I'm not going much in detail with contact form 7 neither with the other plugin but if you want to learn more about contact form 7 then just click on the link that you can see on your computer screen so you can watch my previous video where I talk about it in full detail Anyway, once you go to this page, you can see that below you have this box and basically you can see that this is pretty much a, a standard a contact form where you ask that person's name, that person then below, right below has a field where they can insert their name. The same thing with their email address, the subject line which they want to share with you, the message which they want to send to you and right below this is the button, the submit button. Once that person filled all of the required fields, they just press this button so they can send a message to you. So you might actually want to change this a bit and add some extra fields. For example, if you want to ask that person's phone number, what you do is you simply grab this piece of coding that appears over here, you copy it, and you paste it right below, just like this. But make sure that you actually change the question. Let's say that you want to ask that person's phone number so your phone number would be the question and also you want to delete this field because this field is for that person's email address so you can see that on the top section you have several tabs and these are several options which you can integrate on your contact form in this case I want to for that person to insert their phone number so I need to click on this tab over here that says tell and you can actually make this a required field that means that person can only submit to you their contact form if they actually fill this field so I'm actually going to make this a required field and once you have everything done over here you just click on insert tag and you can see that now you have over here a different piece of coding now just make sure that you press save now let's go to the mail section over here this is the basically the message which you will receive on your email inbox. You may want to change this a bit. And this is a message. This message 
you will be the only person able to see it so nobody else will be able to see this mes message besides you also you have these messages these are the message that will appear on that person's uh, screen once for example they send to you the, the their contact form this is the message that will appear on their screen your message was sent successfully thanks then you also have other messages for different conditions and you might actually want to customize this if you want and that's basically all that you need to do on when it comes to this contact form now what you want to do is simply grab this piece of coding over here you really need to grab this short code just copy it and in this case I'm going to put over here on a blank notepad just like this so you just want to copy that short code and paste it over here because this is a, it, this is the short code that you need so you can integrate your contact form in somewhere else for example on a page on a post or even on your pop-up uh, window okay so once you have that done what you want to do is you want to configure your pop-up maker options so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to simply I'm simply going to go to all themes and click on this option in all themes you can create the design that you want for your window and this is the window which will pop out for your visitors so for you to create one you just click on this button that says had new and you can see that you get over here on the side uh, a preview of how the window will look like over here you have several options which you can change so you can configure this design you can change the overlay settings in this case I'm not going to use this so I'm not going to change anything over here what I'm going to change is the background color for this window let's make it a darker gray and you can see that once I I start changing this color you can see that it merely changes the preview so you can get a better idea of how it looks like also you can change the opacity for that window in this case I'm just going to leave it 100% then you have the border so you if you want to add a border you can even choose the style of your border let's just make it solid and just give it one pixel and you can see that now I have a small border appearing all around my window so I'm just going to leave this just like this you can even drop a shadow if you want on your window I'm not going to change that change also the font so you have oh, pretty much over here a lot of options to change the your window and what I'm going to change is this close button I'm actually going to change the the color In this case it's blue but I'm going to change it to a red so just check each option one by one it's pretty straightforward and you can change the pretty much the design for this window as you can see despite configuring a few options I merely change this design and it looks a bit better now I'm just going to press publish so I can have this new layout and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a new pop-up uh, window so for me to do that I go to add new over here I click on this option and now I'm going to create a new pop-out window the first thing that you simply want to add is a pop-up name and this is just a name for you to be able to more easily identify your pop-up window so this can be anything that you want I'm just going to call it contact form and below is the title this is the title which will appear to your visitors when that window uh, opens up so I'm just going to call it contact us and then you have several targeting conditions this really depends on what you want if you want you may choose to for this window to appear in every single page that you have in your website or just on your home page uh, and you also have other options that appear below in this case I'm just going to select home page and you can see that over here you have this pretty much this 
test option which allows you to have test and so on and you can write whatever you want over here if you want to get some give some extra information about your contact form but in this case the only thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to the test section because I want to have some coding and I'm going to go to my notepad I'm just going to copy this coding and simply paste it over here so I can have this contact form to this window now what I'm going to do is you can see that below you have several options which allows you to pretty much uh, configure this window so you can configure the size of this window if you want actually I'm going to choose small you can also add a minimal width and also a maxim maximum width and in this case overlay I'm actually going to check this option because what this this means is when you have the overlay option enabled what happens is when the the window pops out basically your website disappears on the background and what I want is that window to pop up but at the same time it, people can actually see my website on the background so I'm just going to check this option for that and also you can change the animation if you want the position so you might want to actually change this option also you can change the test which appears on the close button which I'm not going to do you just need to actually write whatever you want over here in this case I'm just going to select press escape to close so once someone presses that button that window will simply close and it will disappear and auto open settings I actually am going to select this option because I want this window to appear automatically in this case I'm not going to select any delay but this is just an example and it's important for you to remember because this is an example and once someone goes to my home page I want this window to simply appear immediately but you actually may want to configure this and give it a bit more time and cookie trigger actually you can select cookie trigger and this is the option which allows you for example someone goes to your home page and you don't want and they see that window and you don't want that window constantly appearing you can also configure that by using cookies for example you just want that window appearing once again after a month or so you can also do that using this options but in this case I'm not going to do anything over here just going to leave this options and that's pretty much what I'm going to do over here and I'm just going to press publish and I'm going to my website so I'm getting to my website so you can see the window popping out just like this so once someone goes to my home page they are able to see this window just like this and they are able to press escape if they want to close this window just like that and this is one of the ways that you can actually integrate this pop-up uh, contact form to your website but there are other ways which I'm going to show to you now for example if you want to add a link inside of a, your post to your contact uh, form or if you want even to add a button so I'm going to show to you how you can do that so let's go back again to my WordPress dashboard and now I'm going to I'm going to go over here to help over here you can see several options for you to integrate your your pop-up windows inside of your WordPress website the first one is if you want just to integrate a normal link and in this case I'm going to show to you how you can integrate a link inside of one of your posts and when someone clicks on this that link they are taken to your contact form and also how you can integrate a button to your contact form inside of your widget section so for me to do that I'm just going to copy this coding over here which is just a regular link and I'm just going to paste it on my blank on my notepad and I'm also going to do the same thing for my button just like this just paste it over here and just remove the spacing and there are, there's one thing that you must do is just change this anchor test over here for your link and also for your button and I'm just going to call it contact us 
for this one and also the same thing for the one below. Now the only thing that I need to change is this class. This is the basically the identifier of your form and you need to insert the right one. So for you to get this identifier you go to all pop-ups pop and you can see that you have this information over here but you just need to grab grab it copy it and just paste it on this section so make sure that you have this inside of the the quotes over here and I'm going to do the same thing for the one below now the thing that I actually need to do is I need to go to edit because you can see that you have over here the targeting conditions and if you want your links for example a uh, opening inside of one of your posts you need to change the targeting conditions for that to happen or else that link won't work well so just to make things easy and for this video I'm just going to select on entire site but you certainly want to exclude several uh, parts of your website so I'm just going to select entire site and the first thing I'm going to show to you is how you can actually integrate a link inside of one of your posts by going to all posts I'm going to this post that I have and once again make sure that you are in your test section so you can integrate some coding and I'm actually going to integrate a link over here just like this so I just paste this coding and once I go to the visual section you can see that I have a link appearing and now once I do a preview and someone actually clicks on this link you can see that over here a contact form opens up which allows them to fill it and send a message to you now for you to add to the widget section which is this section over here your sidebar of your website for you to be able to do that I'm actually going to press update over here you need to go to the widget section of your website. So you go to appearance and you select widgets. And the widget that you want to use is just this one which is the test widget. Just grab this widget and you paste it and you drag and drop in the sidebar section of your website. Now inside of the content area what you want to do is simply copy this coding that belongs to your button and you just paste it over here and you just press save now let's go to the main page of my website and you can see that now I have this contact us button and when someone clicks on this button you can see that this contact form opens up and allows them to fill it up so they can send a message to me so that's how you can actually add a contact pop-up window inside of your WordPress website. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe so you can receive my vi weekly video updates where I talk about WordPress, about SEO, how to make money online and much more. So stay there and stay tuned with ProSite Tutorials and bye.